Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Trapper here to break down another NBA slate. We we're coming at you on Tuesday, and you know, usually NBA, the way that they do their scheduling, typically Mondays are big slates, and then Tuesdays usually only have like three, four, five games. But inverse today, we only had four games on Monday, Tuesday, a full slate, lots of spots to break down in a second. So as you come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and any questions or comments you have, let me know below in the comment section. Helps us in the YouTube algorithm, and I always appreciate it. And uh, recapping yesterday's slate, uh, unfortunately went one and one on my bets. I was really confident in both my bets yesterday. I felt really good that both of them were going to win. We hit on Derek White for over three and a half assists, but ultimately I just had a bad projection on Bol Bol. Jonathan Isaac was out the game before without Jonathan Isaac. We saw over 20 minutes from Bol Bol. I thought we were going to see more of the same. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Only 15 minutes played by him and uh, barely played at all in the second half. So finished on three rebounds. We lost by the hook. So I uh, did not win both of the bets yesterday. Not a total disaster because we won one of two. Uh, but one thing that did help this laid out yesterday was in our Discord channel, where I typically am betting more basketball stuff, NBA. But uh, yesterday, I found a hockey bet that I really liked. It was after the Blackhawks line combinations came out. It was pretty clear they were holding a lot of players out yesterday, and they were just playing a really, really watered-down version of what is already a pretty crappy team. So I bet the Anaheim Ducks at home, minus 125, they end up winning the game 4-2. So our Discord channel, everybody who tailed me, we did end up winning that bet. And if you guys want access to the Discord channel where I could present any sort of breaking news type items that opens up value, click on the link below. 50% off the first week when you sign up our Discord channel. And also, I should mention, we have a live betting show now here over at Odd Chopper. From 4 to 5, every weekday, we're going to have a mix of different guys that you guys are typically seeing here on the videos. Myself, it'll be sometimes Eric, Wafi. Ben Raza, Aton, those guys have been doing a live betting show 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. And there's going to be some insight into some of the tools we have behind the, uh, behind the scenes and how we find value in those. So we did the first show yesterday, and that's going to be something we do every weekday. So go check that out. And also, if you want to know the best time to just be informed when that show is going live, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn your notification bell on, and it'll give you an alert when that show starts. But let's break down the Tuesday NBA slate. These are my favorite bets of the day. So if you guys looked at the schedule and you saw the Jazz were playing, I think you have a pretty good idea what my first bet of the day is going to be. Plus money. Walker Kessler over two and a half blocks. And I don't even know how much more analysis I have to do about this because we bet this guy's block prop pretty much every single time that the Jazz play now. And he has not given us a reason to stop doing it. Neither of sports books by, sure, they went from posting over one and a half blocks to over two and a half. But we're still getting plus money on the two and a half. And he has now won his block prop, what, five times in a row? And I, I really don't think we've lost a single time betting on Walker Kessler this year. Eventually, we're going to have a time where he does not hit the over on his blocks prop, but I think we should just continue to bet it until it doesn't hit because it's been something that's printed money for us. Recent games for Walker Kessler, five blocks against the Spurs, seven against the Thunder, uh, three against the Memphis Grizzlies. So some really big blocks. Uh, by the way, he's had almost all of those block shots in all three of those games in the second half of those of those spots. And I mean, Walker Kessler simply is one of the best rim protectors we have in the NBA. He's quickly become one of the best defensive players overall in the NBA. And the books have just not adjusted to his block prop. We have him projected for right around three and a half over at Odd Shopper. I like the over here as well. Over two and a half blocks for Walker Kessler. Cash another one for us. We are sponsored here by DraftKings Sportsbook, and this is just going to be the easiest way for you guys to make $150 tonight. Sign up using the link we have for DraftKings Sportsbook. Head on over there. The first $5 money line place you bet there, it pays out $150 as long as that team wins. Wright State in college basketball is a minus 6,000 favorite. Normally, you have to bet $60 to win $1 on Wright State, not with this offer. $5 on Wright State is going to pay out $150. They're minus 6,000 favorite. They're going to win. Take advantage of this opportunity. Sign up at DK Sportsbook by clicking on the link we have below. And once again, a bet that normally you'd have to pay $60 to win $1, you're going to win $150 with a $5 bet. You can't go wrong with Wright State. Take advantage of this opportunity. If you or anybody you know has a gambling problem, call or text the number 1-800-GAMBLE. I'm not sure there's a player in the NBA who has a bigger gap between their offensive and their defensive game than Matisse Thibel. And I'm going to be betting him for over one and a half steals today. And uh, just to reference what I was talking about there. Matisse Thibel this year, I like to look at dunks and threes. They have some really cool advanced metrics and they have percentile numbers for how players rate out offensively and defensively. Matisse Thibel this year, 99th percentile on defense. He's arguably the best wing defender in the NBA we have right now. And he is 15th percentile on offense. So overall, he's kind of a, a neutral player. 
but uh, really struggles on offense while being one of the best defensive players in the NBA. And a lot of that comes from how much he could disrupt in the passing lanes. Matisse Thibel, look at these numbers since he's moved into the Portland Trailblazers starting lineup. Two steals, two steals, four steals in the last three games. His first start with the team, just one steal. But either way, multiple steals in three out of the four starts he's made with Portland. His steals prop today is one and a half, and it is plus money on the over. For the season, Matisse Thibel plays just 13 minutes per game and averages one steal in those 13 minutes. But now with the Portland Trailblazers, we're seeing him play north of 30 minutes a lot of these games. Last time out with Portland, 36 minutes was how much he ended up playing, had a couple of steals in that game. And just think of it this way. If he's averaging one steal per game in 13 minutes, and now he's averaging north of 30 minutes per game, this is a guy we should be expecting big steals numbers from. For reference, last year, he played 25 minutes per game. He averaged 1.7 steals. This is just not a guy who should be playing extended minutes and have plus money with an over-under of one and a half steals. So give me the over on Mitzi Steibel, one and a half steals. Really like the plus money as well. Now for our final bet, going back to the wall with another guy who's won some money for us recently, Jakob Pertl. And rebound prop not quite as low as it was a week ago when we were able to bet over seven and a half. We we're able to ladder that rebound prop up to get some really, really big extended long odds. But still for today, he's over under for rebounds is eight and a half. Listen to the last few games Jakob Pertl has played with the Toronto Raptors. Nine rebounds against the Cavs. Well, oh, that game was a blowout, so he played short in minutes. Still, nine rebounds in that spot. Those would have hit the over. 14 rebounds against the Pistons. 18 rebounds against the Pelicans. Nine rebounds against the Magic. And then before then, it was his first couple of games. He was just getting acclimated to playing with Toronto. Overall, for the year, this is a guy in Jakob Pertl who's averaging nine rebounds per game in 26 minutes. And now he's going to be regularly be playing north of 30 minutes per game with Toronto. So it just doesn't make sense to me. The books are hanging prop lines of seven and a half, eight and a half rebounds for Jakob Pertl. I like the over. I think it makes a whole lot of sense. And also, like I said, a guy that we've had success betting on recently. So Jakob Pertl over eight and a half rebounds, another player I think we should keep betting on until the prop lines move on. So recapping our bets for the day, we've got Walker Kessler over two and a half blocks. That's it plus money. Got Matisse Stiebel over one and a half steals. That's plus money. And then uh, not a plus money bet, but just one that I think is good value. Over eight and a half rebounds for Jakob Pertl. Let me know what you think about all of these below in the comment section, guys. Also, if you want to know where I get a lot of my information from or a big tool that helps me identify which NBA bets I like, NBA Bet Pro, our prop betting tool over at stochastic.com. You can get a one-week free trial clicking on the link below in the description box. But before you guys leave here, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and good luck tonight.